So and this one will go right into the eyeballs and I'm going to start with just some straight yellow and I am not going into that center pupil area where the light is reflecting. I want to keep that white. So I put down that first layer of yellow and then I'm going to add with some French ultramarine lightly around the edges a little shadow. So you have to remember that uh, eyeballs are round spheres, so we have to make it look like it's uh, round, and so it's got the shading as it goes into the eye sockets. And then I'm going to put just the part of the pupil that you can see. It's not getting hit by that... Uh, light reflection that's popping in the front there. And then add a little more of the yellow. Build up that shape, the part of the sphere that's coming out at you. And I got to get this other one to curve around as well. And then we're going to move quickly around building up his shape of his head lightly and starting with some of the warm colors and then have them get softer where they go away the warmer parts that come forward. So that softer purple, that's going to go away from you. The rose is the medium color, and then that uh, bit of turquoise is the warm blue that comes forward nicely. And then here, he's got an eyebrow with a bit of yellow, which I pull down for the bridge in the nose as well. and then get those kind of warm orange tones to give it some shape, like it's wrapping around. And the purples again for the cooler areas that go in. And then through that side area where the eye is and the bridge of the nose, that's where it gets the darkest with that deep purple. Nice strong contrast. So I just kind of flare out that purple up on the top, sort of uh, suggesting that there's an ear up there. And so I'm just kind of moving, moving quickly and not putting in too much thought. You don't want to overthink it. Try to trust your instincts a bit. Just remember the areas that go in, uh, those are the cooler purple areas. And then the ones that come out are those warmer yellow areas. So I got that cheek area kind of coming out at you with the warm.
And here, this cheek is going away from you, so that's that softer purple. And we're just suggesting the rest of his facial features and not putting too much detail. And he's got the dark purple nose. And a little mouth. So now I've got just uh, Payne's gray on my brush and I'm getting really, really dark eyelids on him. He's got his cat eye makeup on. So I got that nice strong contrast in there to really bring out those eyes. And this little cheek area by his mouth. These parts uh, come out, so I'm switching over to some of the warmer colors. I'll start with that warmer blue, the turquoise. And I've got that part curving in along the bridge of the nose there with the purple. And I'll touch a little bit of yellow and orange over here to warm up those bottom parts of his mouth even more. And my cat had these big whiskers up on top, so I sort of lightly flare out some dry brush purples. So now I'm going to start the more abstract part around the outside edge and I'm just going to put down a watery blob of paint. Get a few different colors and nice and juicy and wet. And then I'm going to use a straw to blow those little marks out. I just twist my paper in the direction in which I want them to go. Add some more color to those. And here just add some drips, just play with it and have some fun, let it be kind of loose and wild.
So I'm going to come up here and add some more dark where I want to flare out his whiskers. And for this, I'm going to scrape. So I'm using the back of a sharp brush, putting my scrapes in. Another little blob of color over here. Pull it out. And then I'll come back and pull some of them back into his face. There you have it.